Hey guys. All right, so let's do another example with piecewise functions here. So let's say um, we have this function f of x, and we want to find all the values of c that guarantee that the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x exists. All right. So remember, what does it mean for this two-sided limit to exist? Um, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit both have to exist and equal the same thing. So what we want to do here is make sure that uh, limit as x approaches 3 from the left of f of x equals the limit as x approaches 3 from the right. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. Um, what we want is this. We want limit as x approaches 3 from the left of f of x to be equal to the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of f of x. Alright, so this is a piecewise function, so uh, what do these really mean? Limit as x approaches 3 from the left of f of x. Well, remember, as x approaches 3 from the left, x is always less than 3. So that means we're only going to look at this first piece here. Alright, so um, on the left-hand side of this equation here, what we really have is limits as x approaches 3 from the left of this first piece, which is x squared minus 5. All right. Now how about the right-hand side of the equation? Well, on that side we have the right-hand limit, um, limit as x goes to 3 from the right of f of x. So as x approaches 3 from the right, uh, x is always larger than 3. So that means we're only on the second piece here. So for this side we have limit as x approaches 3 from the right of 2x plus c. All right. So pretty much what we have here is an equation that we're going to have to solve for c. So um, on each side here, we can just do direct substitution now. So let's go ahead and come over here, and let's uh, do that. So if we directly substitute on the left side, what do we get? Uh, take the 3, put it into the x, and we have 3 squared minus 5 on the left-hand side. What happens on the right-hand side? Uh, we have 2 times 3 plus c. So 2 times 3 plus c. So again, when we directly substitute, um, the fact that they're one-sided limits doesn't matter anymore. Okay? It doesn't matter. Uh, we use that fact here when we try to find out which piece of f of x we're supposed to use. That's when we use the fact that they're one-sided limits. Now it doesn't matter for direct substitution. Right? So now what we have is just um, a linear equation here that we can just solve directly just with uh, basic arithmetic. So 3 squared is 9, minus 5 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, then we have plus c. So subtract 6 from both sides, then we have uh, negative 2 equals c. And that's the only value of c that guarantees that this limit exists. All right. 